So how good was Richard Mole as uh, Bull Buchanan on Night Court? Well, probably one of the most consistent comedy character actors of his uh, generation. Died on October 26th at the, the great age of 80, had a very extensive career, almost dating 50, 60 years. He was an American actor known for playing, again, Aristotle of Nostradamus, Bull Shannon, the bailiff on Night Court from 84 to 92, and voicing Harvey Dent Two-Face in the DC animated universe series, Batman, the animated series, and a new Batman uh, Adventures. Now, born in Pasadena, January 13th, 94, 1943, he was the son of Violet Anita Grill, a nurse, and Harry Finley Mole, a lawyer. He was taller in life, reaching six feet by the age of 12. He kept growing until about six foot eight. He attended the University of California, Berkeley, and was a member of the Kappa Alpha Order Fraternity. Now, in the 1977 film Brigham, Maul credited a Charles Maul appeared as Joseph Smith, founder of the Latter-day Saint movement. Maul would go off to portray hulking or posing characters during his height and deep voice. In 79, he played the part of Eugene, a gangster on the TV series Happy Days, in the episode Fonzie's Funeral. In 81, he co-starred with Jan Michael Vincent and Kim Basher in the film Hard Country. He also played the abominable snowman in the comedy feature Caveman. The same year, he had a small part in the Mork and Mindy episode Alienation, where he appeared with future fellow Night Court TV series cast member John Larroquette. In 82, he played a sorcerer, Yusia, and a sword and a sorcerer. Now, when 83, his big break came here, he shaved his head for the role of Huyurok in the science fiction B-movie Metal Storm, the destruction of Jared Sid. The producers of the TV sitcom Night Court liked to look so much in his edition that he asked him to keep it. He played bailiff again, Bull Shannon, on Night Court uh, for uh, nine seasons. He also used a bull persona in commercials for Washington's Lottery. Now, he played the role of Big Ben in the 86 horror film House. He earned a Saturn Award nomination for a role. He also made an appearance in the first episode of Highlander, the series, as Slan Quince, the villain who reunites Conor McLeod with his kinsman and the show's protagonist, Duncan McLeod. Uh, Maul made a guest appearance on Babylon 5 in the episode Hunter Prey as a lurker criminal who was holding a VEP hostage and a gangster on Married with Children. He made another guest appearance in the TV series Hercules' Legendary Journeys, playing the Cyclops in two episode, uh, episode 2, Eye of the Beholder. Now, in Super Password, he appeared with Judy Norton Taylor, Nancy Lane, Marky Poles, Gloria Loring, Florence Hallop, Deborah M- Mefet, Elaine Joyce, and Kim Morgan Green with Burke Convy as the game's host from 84 to 87. He also played himself in The Facts of Life, Down and Out in Maladu in a two-part episode in Season 9. Now, he also appeared in The Flintstones and Casper Meets Wednesday, both TV spinoffs. In 99's But I'm a Cheerleader, he went against Type and played a gay man uh, who, with his partner, Wesley Mann, helps gay teenagers escape from a nearby camp where parents send her a teenage offspring for conversion therapy. He also played the drifter on the Nickelodeon show Hunter Deeds for Eddie McDowd. Now, in 2001, he played U. Kane, the ghost haunting a mansion in Scary Movie 2. In 2007, he played along with M. Stephen Felty, Cold Shack, Jefferson Stilwell, in the Anthony C. Ferrante horror film Headless Horseman. In 2014, he appeared as a security guard in an episode of Anchor Management with uh, Charlie Sheen. Now, Maul can be hear, heard in many animated productions, often as a villain with a deep, growling voice. He voiced Two Face and Batman in the animated series, Scorpion in the later episodes of Spider Man, which was originally voiced by Martin Landau, and The Abomination and the Incredible Hulk, which was originally voiced by Ge- Kevin Sean. Maul also predict, uh, provided voice work in Batman The Brave and the Bowl episode, Chill the Night, <clears throat> voicing Lou Moxon as well as briefly reprising Two Face, who was mainly voiced by James Raymar. His first role in animated film was as a beat poet in Ralph B- Boschke's American Pop. He starred as Norman in the animated series Mighty Max. He also voiced Vorn the Unspeakable, a uh, Kalathu-like character in the Freak of episode Statue S. He also voiced the Devil Hulk, the Devil Hulk in the 2005 video game Incredible Hulk Ultimate uh, Destruction. In the 2010 video game Dante's Inferno, he voiced Death, which he shared with D. Bradley Baker in King Minos. Now, eventually... Uh, Again, went into retirement, but unfortunately died in his home in Big Bear Lake, California, on October 26, 2023, at the age of 80.
But again, his performance as a night court will always stand as some of the best comedic time of all time, especially the, the slap in the, the head every time he made a bad decision. Now, a uh, lot of a uh, lot of good respect for his horror work as well. Now, uh, he appeared in the various movies throughout the years, uh, The Flintstones, Loader Weapon 1, uh, The Secret Agent Club, Jingle All the Way, uh, Casper, Spirit of Beginnings, Casper Meet Wendy, uh, again, uh, Bolt Neck, a Scary Movie 2, very, very uh, funny, and the work and the story, and uh, Kids vs. Monster 2015. TV work was tremendous before he showed up on Night Court. Welcome back, Cotter, to Rockford Files, How the West Was Won, Happy Days, The Jericho uh, Mile, of course, that uh, Peter Strauss classic, Bigfoot and Wild Boy, BJ and the Bear, The Misadventures of Sheriff Lobo, Buck Rogers, The Bad News Bears, The Archer, Future from the Empire, Best of the West, Here's Boomer, Laverne Shirley, Brett Maverick, Mork and Windy, The Fall Guy, T.J. Hooker, Bramington Steele, Fantasy Island, Joss or Luck, The Dukes of Hazzard, The A-Team, uh, Match Game, of course, uh, Body Language, uh, Super Password as a contestant, Night Court, again, uh, 193 episodes, uh, Santa Barbara, $25,000 Pyramid, The $15,000 Pyramid, uh, The Facts of Life, Sledgehammer, An Evening at Improv, my two dads out of this world. Two two seven. The monsters. Uh, the monsters today play Genghis Khan. Highlander. Uh, the uh, TV episode, uh, and again uh, a whole bunch of uh, voice roles. Also, Doctor Quinn, Medicine Woman, Hercules, Babylon Five, Baywatch, Weird Science, Married with Children, Seven Heaven, Superman the Animated Series, and just on and on and on. So again, from uh, from nineteen seventy. I'm thinking 76 or 77, uh, all the way to present day again. A very, very uh, talented guy. But you would never think he was 80. He was very, very uh, young uh, because by the time he did Night Court, he was in his, uh, uh, he's in his uh, 40s, into his 50s. And like I said, he looked young for his age. But, I mean, everybody has a fascination now with Night Court because, unfortunately, most of the major cast has uh, passed away in recent years, including Marky Post. Uh, and everybody else. Uh, Larroquette is still going. And Larroquette had mentioned uh, something very interesting in public posts. He said the kindness of Richard Mall uh, is is going to be his greatest legacy, and I tend to agree. Because we all have our TV heroes from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And uh, the Night Court was not the most politically correct uh, show, but there was a kindness among, uh, you know, the cast and all that. And I always wonder... Why he wasn't given his own talk show? He was a tremendous uh, speaker. But like I said, just in recent years, he was pretty well the same retirement. But he was nonstop again for three, four decades. So, Bull, we're going to miss you, brother. And uh, don't forget, if you're only recognized for one part of your career, that's not a bad thing because in this case, the kindness he showed, he he, he looked rough, but he was he was he was a heart of gold anyway. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we're doing with our entertainment podcast, let us know with a like, comment, subscribe, or share. Bye.